Okay, guys, seriously, what is going on here? I have been repeatedly befuddled by Rat's most recent skin releases. This is the third time this year, nearly in a row, mind you, that one of the most popular skin lines ever to release got a new batch of skins, and there's barely any of them? I'm not exactly complaining. I, for one, think skin lines like Project or Night and Dawn have run dry on creative ideas, and as such, wasn't overly fond to see them return in the first place. But after High Noon, I had high hopes. One of them, regrettably, being one of the best skins released so far this year. Five skins! Five skins! So now it's Blood Moon's turn to make its glorious comeback, even though it already did that two years ago. But it's springtime, baby, so now we get to see a full return to form of Blood Moon's original aesthetic, and well, how does it hold up for the modern era? Perhaps we take a look at them together, shall we? Starting with Blood Moon Zed. I already used this clip last time, but it was obvious! A lot like Coven Syndra, this has been a very highly requested skin among Zed mains for the longest time, and I'm not gonna lie, Zed has had this weird problem in recent years where it doesn't feel like he's really belonged to any skin that he's been a part of. Just take one one look at Empyrean, it's like the table scraps of the idea were just thrown onto Zed to pad out the skin line. But here, he feels right at home. It feels natural, like he always had it. Probably why everyone thought he already had it. There's a lot of fun details, like the fact he has no face. Yeah. But the unfortunate thing is that after receiving so many other red and eastern themed skins, this one kind of just winds up melding into the rest of his catalog. Ruby is the best chroma, 7 out of 10. Blood Moon Zyra. I've always had a personal gripe with Zyra in that I just don't understand why people like her. I can understand why people like the Godzilla-ness of Cho'Gath or the K-pop singer-ness of Seraphine, but Zyra, by all definition, this is just Poison Ivy at home. So in the few instances where Zyra moves away from her plant-based theme like Dragon Sorcerer or now Blood Moon, to me, now this feels like a character all her own, taking inspiration from Bayonetta, having her clothes and plants made of hair. Or is her hair made of plants? Or are her plants made of clothes? Or are her as far as Zyra skins go, this is close to as good as you can get in my eyes, though I have one real big complaint. Why did the Blood Moon ladies never get cool masks? Let them have cool masks, goddammit! Spirit Blossom, I mean Rose Quartz is the best chroma. 8.5 out of 10. Blood Moon Fiddlesticks. When you're the follow-up to a masterpiece like Star Nemesis, and said masterpiece was the follow-up to another masterpiece in Surprise Party, it's no wonder Riot was so anxious to give the stick another skin. Though if they were, it was high time to finally turn him into a full-on crow demon, and demon he certainly is. But man, as funny as it is to make a skin for the demon champion that just turns him into another kind of demon, the particle effects and sound design are incredibly lacking on this one in my eyes. Maybe they'll change it by the time this video releases, but that alt... Holy, that is lacking some major impact, dude. It looks like he's playing with his collection of paper airplanes. Still a decent skin for the stick, but the competition is just too high. Obsidian is the best chroma, 7.5 out of 10. Overall, Blood Moon 2024 gets a 7.5 out of 10. I don't think they're a glorious return to form like High Noon's revival was, but I also don't think they were as laughably forgettable or downright disastrous as Project's return. And truth be told, despite my clear biases, I don't mind if fan favorites are brought back this way. They've already been oversaturated to holy hell and beyond, so re-releasing them in small doses like this will prevent that fact from becoming less apparent. So until next time though, fellas, Lee Sin's ASU and MSI skins are on the horizon. Do let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see a rapid fire skin review for League's apparent golden boy, as well as a separate one dedicated to the MSI skins, which are gonna be... It, it, Empyrean? Why? But hopefully until next time, I'll see you then, or I guess, in the next video.